Yes, Nicholas, back again today. Today, again, we're back with a Zorin OS 6.1 Lite Educational, yeah. It's about 1.1 gig to download, so it's not particularly light, but it doesn't mean light in that respect, really. It just means light in the desktop environment, which is LXDE, because it's using Lubuntu as its base, which is good for me. I like you know, LXDE and Lubuntu. They come on leaps and bounds, and now they're a big partner with the Bantus. It's nicey-nicey. Super duper. So it looks the same as all the others. So what makes it different? So this is the bit I'm going to show you. We'll go down the bottom bar first. It's usual LXDE, your shutdown menu. You get your time and date, my volume stuff, yeah, all down there. You get two windows here. Your music player is audacious as your file manager. And Chromium web browser is as standard. So we're going to open them up and have our little butchers in the hutches. There we go. Oh, nice and big. I ain't going to sign in. There it is. Lovely. Done. Super nice. Click on Chrome just in case, you know, might fancy it. No, see, it all works hunky dory. Nice. If you don't like it, don't use it. Okay. You can get Firefox, of course, or Aurora, or whatever you want to use as your web browser. There's loads in the repos. See, this is the thing about using Ubuntu as a base. You get loads and loads of repos to use, and there's normally most programs in there for you to use. A lot of people say, oh, Ubuntu, 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 rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Well, let's be honest. It's not really, if it's not working for you, it's just not working for you. But it works for me and all my kids and other people, you know. I don't mind it, it's alright. I use a lot of different distros, so it's different for me. But for the average Joe on the street, this would be happy, happy, happy days for them. Yeah, lovely. Anyway, enough of my renting. LXD base, remember, so what do we get? Archive Manager, Calculator, a character map. You get your disk utility. Your file manager, leaf pad for doing your leaf pad. Sneaky notes or sticky notes. Or could they be sneaky notes again? Yeah. Terminal and external. Right, this is where it goes all its stuff with education. It's installed by default, okay? So you get blinking. You get educational G Gcompris. Have you never seen G Gcompris? Shall I open it? Yeah, go down as well. We'll go with G Five, four, three. Here we go. G Gcompris is coming. You probably hear the music in the background from my headphones. I do most of stuff with headphones. I'm only going to do one for you because I've done this several times with other stuff. Let's do some mathematics. Mm. I can't do maths. Mm. But if you're two, three, four, five, six, or seven, you might like this. So we just go to dice. Okay. What do we have to do? I forgot now. So I didn't even know. I didn't even know. Should we do that one? Okay. You just top the numbers. So that's seven. Yeah, do that. Dilly, dilly, dilly. That's seven again. And they come down and they get harder as they go okay so we come out of that now bad enough of that bad enough of that yeah bad enough of that okay yes i'm sure i'm sure but that's really good for younger children up to the age about seven or eight you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying well actually it does go a bit higher actually so now you get geogebra which is for mathematical constructions and appellates k brunch that's for fractions i like fractions k hangman a bit of english going in there or your language of choice k stars for your desktop planetarium I'll quickly open it up for you so you can see what you're looking at. And I'll have a drinkage while I'm waiting. Yeah. There we go, it's loading right. Yeah. So we did the set yeah, we did the setup, okay. But we'll find that one there, that's good for me. Okay. Good for me. I don't want to download extra data because I'm just showing you, okay. Or do I? No, not really. Yeah, I can't do next day. I'll just do OK. Okay. Oh yeah, I can do that as well. Close. So this is our stars where we are at the moment. So you can zoom in, okay? Or zoom out. So there's oh the moon's there. So we go there. I'm gonna look at the moon, and we can zoom in on the old moonage. There's good. Oh look, it's a nice picture. Go further in, and that's not bad, is it? Bearing in mind you can do other stuff as well, like Neptune over there whatever that is over there and whatever that is over there but yeah nice little program mm, for learning stuff so if you've got an old machine that you want to put stuff for your kiddies on this might be a good idea because they might want to touch the educational stuff because it's quite fun here with k word quiz as well a lot of k stuff from kdu you know what i mean calcium periodic tables oh i love my periodic tables do you yeah hydrogen mm -mm -mm. i've got some really weird ones down there called appentanium mm -mm -mm. Got the previous and close. And we've got down there, Logentinium. And we've got down here, Bericulum. I want to think we'll sneak him. That'd be good, wouldn't it? 
So next time we find something, can you call it Sneakium, please? Lovely. Okay, we're still going in education, yeah? Remember, it is education. It is for educational purposes. So get tax math, tax type, and tax paint, which are all really good there. No tax commander, that's a really good one. I like tax commander, yeah. But under games, okay, the a reprint of what's already been done, but you get Potato Guy there as well and G Brainy. Under graphics, right. I've got Gimpage, I've done it myself. Okay, but you get LibraCAD and LRF Viewer, Simple Scan, MT Paint, and Internet, as you can see, Chromium, Pigeon for your Internet Machine, and Postler for your mouth. They like Postler, the old Zorin boys, don't they? And your Zorin Web Browser Manager, so you can actually download a different browser if you so want to do so. Alright, I'll put my pass with him. I won't go there. So I've got Chromium, do we want another one? Mm, yeah, let's install Firefox. See if it works on this one. It didn't actually work on the last one, do you remember? Yes, I do want to continue, yeah. An error occurred. This happened in the last one I've done. Remember on Zorin Light 6.1, the basic light? When you use that section there for your browser chooser, the same thing happens. So I end up going to Synaptic and doing it from there, basically. Or to the software centre. Because well, yeah, there is a software centre here, by the way. Under Office, you get Abby Word, G Numeric, and Osmo, and Dexter, and stuff like that. Sound and video, you only get Audacious, a media player, and a disc burner, which is XF Burn, I think. But we'll check it out and find out. Yeah, it's XF Burn, yeah. Super duper. I like it. Then start. You get System Tools, of course. Do your firewall. GW, as I said before. You can put um, Skype on there. If you just download it from the site. I'll open the Task Manager up for you, see what we're using. It's only using 116 meg of RAM. That is pretty good for a Ubuntu based distro when you think about it, don't you think? I do, yes. Okay, what else we've got? You still get the look changer, so open it up. You still only get two looks. So you get Windows 2000, what you're using, or the Mac OS X. Okay, that's alright, I can live with that. Okay, preferences. Get your drivers here, this utility, blah 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 blah. blah. And there's text to speech as well, which there's a Zorin I've been putting in this stuff quite a lot. Did you hear that in the background? Oh, I'll, tell you what. I'll put the headphones nearer to the mic and you'll be able to do stuff, okay? So I'm going to play that, really. Welcome in Jaspika. See, he said, welcome to Jaspika. So if I'm going to write something in now, and I'll put my headphones back on, you better hear it, okay? There you go. There you go. Hi, I'm Stinky Linux. Headphones back over the thing, over here. Should we play it? Here we go, ready? Hi, I am Stinky Linux. That was wicked, wasn't it? Wicked, wicked. Jungle is massive. Oh, got a female one. Should we try that? Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Hi, I am Sneaky Linux. Ooh, that's lovely. Ooh, we can actually make it faster. Make it faster, just like me. Hi, I am Sneaky Linux. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And you can actually record that as well, if you wanted to. So that's all right. Yeah, I like that one. It's a really nice touch. I really do like that. Right. To put a cap on it. If they got the browser st stuff sorted, as they, they didn't do in the last one either, once they get that sorted, which they probably will do in the next couple of days, it's a really nice, easy distro to use. Really, really nice and easy. Fast, light, doesn't use only RAM, none of your CPU. So you can put it on an older system and it'll work just fine and your kids will love it. Because they can still do all their games on the internet. They can still watch Flash stuff. They can still do anything they really want to. Can we some more backgrounds though, boys? Just a couple in, in the ISO. It'd be really nice. Really, really nice. And I'll buy you a pint next time I come over. Anyway, 89%. Sneaky looks out, to be sure. See you later. Bye bye.